So y'all know that Zeus and the baddies are down there in Dubai for Natalie's birthday, right? In New Year's Eve. But child, I guess in between getting dookied on and pissed on, they said they're going to find a way to piss me off. Child, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. See, nah, because if you really rock with my content, consider joining a bandit gang for real, for real. I mean, I'm now offering channel memberships here on YouTube now to make it easier for all of y'all to join in on the fun. Now, this is going to grant you access to early uploads, extended videos, and exclusive content like deep dives, story times, studio sessions, live streams, cooking videos, all that and more, as well as major discounts on personal readings and whatnot. Just click the join button next to the subscribe button and choose a tier of your liking. Now, I'm still offering Patreon as an alternate way of supporting, but it's really your choice. I mean, I'm just a big girl trying to make it in this big world you know so if you got the coin then baby spend it okay and if not i mean i guess that's cool too <laughs> we still gonna make it do what it do with the regular youtube content but just know you missing out girl now don't say i ain't told you so i want people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip but let's get to the chi chi the kiki the the internet bull <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy New Year's, hoes. Okay, so listen. Scott Santana, a.k.a. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Listen, I ain't got time for the bull, baby. It's the first day of the new year, and Zeus, like I said, they are insistent on pissing me off. They are insistent on pissing me off. Because did I not just do a whole video? Did I not just do a whole video the other day telling y'all how Baddie's season five, like, had leaked? They had just trademarked baddies north in september and so that was supposed to be the next season hence why they trademarked baddie baddie shot o'clock and also bad versus wow like we were supposed to get baddies east reunion then we were supposed to get baddies versus wow and then we was going to get baddies north which how I might have messed up the bag I might have messed up Zeus's bag child I don't I don't know listen the way that these Video has been going viral on the channel. Everything that I do pertaining to Zeus or Natalie or the baddies. Child, I feel like somebody over there that saw my video and was like, you know what? You know what? We got we gotta stay one step ahead of her. We gotta stay one step ahead of her. You know what? We we, we just gonna switch it up because where the hell did this come from? Where the hell did this come from? And it's not even so much. See, I was about to lie. It's definitely the location. I was about to say, it's not even so much the location. No, it is. It's the location that's pissing me off. And it's also because, see, they released two trailers, okay? I'm sorry, not even trailers. They released two teasers. And one teaser was featuring Natalie. And then a second teaser which is what they accidentally released, okay? Listen, you you know how Zeus is unprofessional. We were supposed to get a whole episode last night. We didn't, and then they waited to midnight to piss us off. And like I said, they released a trailer with Natalie. That was the official one. And then they had released a second one that we wasn't supposed to see yet, but bitch, I saw it. And I got the evidence. And it's including the girls that's returning. And baby, when I tell you I am pissed off, I am pissed off. Okay, like none of this, it it none of it makes sense. First of all, the logo was ugly. The lo the logo. I mean, I I don't think I've seen a good logo since Baddies Atlanta. The logos are ugly. That's first off. Second off, it makes zero sense to go to the Caribbean for season five because you haven't even completed the United States. Like you were supposed to do North and then like Midwest and then like Mid South, like and then go to Caribbean. Like, it's too soon to be, but okay, okay. And then the fact that you got certain girls returning, it's like, it's like they literally said, we hear y'all, but fuck y'all. Like, I really, I really feel like they did that. Like, I really feel like they was like, we hear y'all, but fuck y'all. Because it's like everything that we said and that we asked for just went out the fucking window. 
It just it just went out the window. And this is why I don't pay for Zeus now. This is exactly why I go on brokensilence.cc. Okay? Listen, brokensilence.cc. That's B R broken <laughs> silence with a Z dot CC. This is why I go there now and I don't pay for Zeus. And this is why I watch my episodes there now. Because why are the episodes late? And then you wait till the day of to say something. This is how, how I know they pulling shit out of their ass because not only did they not tell us that no episode was coming, but they waited till it was time to air the episode to say, hey, you're not getting an episode tonight. And then they waited until midnight to go and drop a trailer. Mind you, they dropped two trailers because they wasn't supposed to drop the other one, but bitches quit it. Any like... Zeus is unprofessional as fuck. And before we get into these trailers, child, go ahead and like this video. Nothing for free. I cost a lot. Bitch, I'm a queen. Not like the thoughts. If you put the piece together, you gotta sit the check down. You put the piece together, you gotta sit the check down. Gotta send a check on me. Gotta send a rest on me. Hey, hey. Gotta be successful. If you want the best of me. Hey, hey. Gotta send a check on me. Gotta send a rest on me. Hey, hey. Gotta be successful. Captain Natalie, and the baddies are heading to the Caribbean. Well, I hope you had the time of your life. Let's go, bitches! Yes! <laughs> I'm aggravated, y'all. I'm aggravated. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, this ain't gonna be one of them funny videos. This, like, and I hate to get up here ranting on the first day of the new year, but it's not my fault. Zeus came to us with the bullshit. Zeus done came to us with the bullshit. Like, it, first of all, it's bad enough that this is already an election year. Okay, it's bad enough that Trump about to be back in office. It's bad enough that we about to go through World War Three before 2025. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I've been telling y'all that all 2023. We are going to World War Three by 2025. It's bad enough, okay? Like, we, we sitting here trying to do new year, new me, new energy. And Zeus said, girl, fuck all that. Fuck all of that. We doing a new show, same cast. New show, same cast. New show, same cast. It's like Zeus literally just be sitting there like, these bitches are going to watch anyways. We 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 making $18 million monthly. We know that these bitches are going to tune in anyways. These bitches are going to love to hate. Like, and I feel like that's what it is. I feel like they're intentionally playing in people's faces because they know that people are going to tweet about the show. Like, I understand that we all be laughing and shit at like the TikToks or like people making fun of Roly and this, that, and the third. But there are some people in this world that feel like all press is good press, like good or bad press, like it's still press. And as long as you're giving press, then maybe you're pressed. You know what I mean? Like, and they feel like, bitch, we're making money. And no shade, but a lot of black people. A lot of black culture and black businesses feel like, baby, as long as we bring it in income and generating money, that's all that matters. Like they don't, it's obvious at this point that they do not care about creating a good show. It's obvious at this point that they do not care about what the fans have to say. It's obvious at this point that they just focused on the money and they not going, it's not going to hit Zeus until people collectively decide to stop, just stop watching and stop supporting. It's not like they're not going to get it until like literally people stop supporting and stop watching because even all the hate tweets on Twitter, even all the TikToks and whatnot, people hate and wrote like that's all good for the show. And that's clearly all they care about because maybe let me let me 
let me stop talking. Let me just show y'all who's actually on the cast. So this is the second trailer that they did not mean to drop. Again, unprofessional. Unprofessional as fuck. Because how do you drop the wrong fucking trailer? Unprofessional as fuck. Let's get into it. We got our own thing. I know I'm not my street then. So later in this evening, explore this is sleeping. Yeah, I'm pretending I don't want you. Yeah, but if it was just us two, yeah, I would let you take it. But I wanna make you sweat for it. Girl, come and wind up your waist like Shakira. Love the way you shake, you come nearer. Girl, come and wind up your waist like Shakira. Been over, know you're giving me fever. Girl, come and wind up your waist like Shakira. Look the way you shake it, come here. Come on, wind up your waist like Shakira. They know I know you're giving me fever. I was going to replay it again, but I I'm about ready to be done with this video. Like I, y'all, I'm I'm just aggravated. I'm really aggravated because I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like it's one thing to like hate watch this show. And, I mean, I'm not going to sit and act like these reviews and whatnot not making me money. But at the same time, it's just like, because, like, we we hate watch the show, but we still like the show and still try to support the company. But, like, I don't know how much longer I can take these companies and these reality shows giving a big fuck you to the consumers and the people that's putting them on the map. Like, at some point, when do we start holding these people the fuck accountable? Because it's not the first time that it's happened. Whether it's on Real Housewives of Potomac and you don't want to see Rob in there or maybe Real Housewives of Atlanta you don't want Marlo there. Like, regardless, it's not the first time that it's happened. And it's such a blatant fuck you when it's coming from Zeus because we know, again, how much they're making monthly. How many views that they're doing, you know, and then it's a continual, consistent thing across the board. It's like y'all making all of this money, y'all taking all of these trips and and moving like the mafia, like everywhere you go, you got 20 security, which you, you got a thousand security guards on screen, thousand people in the fucking background. Like y'all move in such a certain way, but then y'all are so unprofessional. You don't have the episodes out on time. You shoot trailers and teasers for shows that's not even filmed yet. So that's another thing, too. Like, I'm not putting no stock into Daddy's Caribbean until I see auditions, until I see an actual cast. Because how many times have we gotten teasers and trailers for shows that were supposedly coming soon on Zeus? And then we never got the actual fucking show. Like, what happened to the Saucy Santana show? What happened to the show that was featuring B. Simone? Like, it, it wouldn't be the first time. Like, they are infamous for shooting whole-ass trailers before they even get a show done. This shit is just crazy. It's crazy. And then the cast that they chose, like, are you, are you, are you fucking serious? You bring Roly back. You bring Scotty back. And then you add Mariah Lynn and Suki. Like, it's time to retire Roly and Scotty. It's been time to retire them. Retire them. I don't understand this obsession with Roly. I don't get it. It's like she's being forced down a throat. Scotty, I could deal with. But it's like they're forcing Roly down our throat. And this is why I say, like, it's such a big fuck you because... Zeus is paying attention. They see all the hate tweets. They see the way that Roly is going viral, even when the show's not airing. And they're betting on people hate watching so that they can make more money. And if this isn't a clear sign that they don't give a fuck about, it, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so offended. Like, like I'm genuinely bothered by this. I'm, I'm genuinely bothered by this. 
that's why it's not like a normal funny video because it's just it's it's something so off-putting about the way that they move in because I know like it's literally like a direct fuck y'all we're going to take y'all money and y'all going to sit and y'all going to watch this shit and y'all going to keep promoting this shit and we're going to make more money off it like it's something real nigga-y about the way that they moving that I don't like like it's something real just disrespectful and gutter about it and I can't wait I can't wait for the the surviving zoos documentary I, I can't wait I can't wait like I like am I the only one don't get me wrong. It's like, like, I definitely understand, like, okay, it's Zeus. It's not like it's Bravo. It's not like MTV and, like, you know, why are you holding them to such a high stand? Like, I get all of that. But it's also different when you can li literally see and feel somebody playing in your face. Because you're not going to sit and tell me that after this entire season and seeing what people are tweeting every single week that those are the girls you chose to bring back. Like, what other reason would you bring them back for other than for people to continue to hate watch? And then if you're doing that, then what other reason would it be for if not money? And it's sad. It's such a reflection of black, of black culture. It's such a reflection. It's such a reflection of black culture and black businesses. It's just like the money is all that fucking matters because it's this crab in a barrel mindset. And it's just like, that's going to be the death of them. That's going to be the fucking death of them. Like, don't get me wrong. Again, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I'm a review because I'm making a coin from it. And I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. But it's just like, damn, really? Like, y'all, like, not even one girl from House B? Not to Seeky, not T, like not one girl from House B. And then y'all bring back all the controversial problems of the season. Like the main people, they might as well have added ET. They might as well have added ET. It ain't like they would have had to <laughs> up the budget at all. Like, I mean, ET would have worked for crackers, crackers and $2. Okay. ET looked like she would have worked for a pack of cigarettes. Like, it, come on now. It ain't like they would have been out of house or home by adding E.T. to the cast. But, I mean, at this point, were you adding Roly and Scotty and then Mariah Lynn and Sue? <sighs> and then it's the fact that Mariah Lynn and Suki were the biggest disappointments. They were the biggest hypes coming into the season. They were the preseason favorites. And then they were the biggest letdowns. And what I hate the most is that I feel like because it's going to be a new season and new girls and new energy, they probably going to act different after seeing how they was treated this season and how fans reacted. And then they probably going to do something redeemable. And then all of a sudden we're going to like them again, like like how everybody doing Be uh, Biggie now, as if Biggie wasn't picking with Sonny the entire time last season. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, please don't get down in my motherfucking comment box talking about some. Oh, it's Zeus. That, that, that. I get that. I get that. I, I, I get that Zeus is the gutter. But, like, again, it's like the biggest fuck y'all. Like, I don't know why I'm taking this. Listen, maybe I'm on my period. Maybe, maybe I'm on my period. Maybe I'm just a little emotional because I'm really about to cry. Like, just something about it don't feel right. Something about it don't feel right, y'all. And that's my psychic senses tingling. Like, something about it, the way that they went about this, it just does not feel right. It just it just does not feel right. It feels like, fuck y'all. Like, it, like I, I don't know if they looking at us like we retards or like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm genuinely offended. Like, it, it, it feels like, fuck y'all. We going to use y'all for money and y'all going to sit and y'all going to watch the shit. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let me end this video if I end up saying something. Chat, let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. As if I give a fuck. And definitely make sure that you go stream my music as if you give a fuck. <sighs> Happy New Year, child. Happy New Year, child. I'm looking forward to Bad Verse as well, which I know is going to be a hot ghetto mess as well because, child, I'm about to do a video on that. I'll see y'all in the next one. Let's talk about it. Oh, <laughs> wrong outro. I do what I want cause who gon' touch me? I get to the green cause I'm all about money. I'm looking like cash. You looking like cash. I'm looking like bags. You hoes looking like sex. You bitches looking like you can't get in. Got a couple dollars if you need to live. Don't give a time to get he was in. So unless she eat.
Brad Lundy. 